Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week we have a Mercedes truck on demonstration and first of all before we get into it I would like to thank Mercedes for lending us it to demo. This gives us content to make and also kept me on the road earning while my truck was off the road getting some much needed repairs. Upon getting the truck delivered, Callum from Mercedes took me out in it and showed me all the gadgets and gizmos and mod cons that it has like the cruise control that will take you through a town centre adjusting speed for oncoming vehicles and roundabouts and junctions once you set it into your sat nav all you have to do is indicate and steer it is that impressive it does all the braking and the acceleration Well, this is the demonstrator we have been gifted from Merck for the week and I'm going to put it through test and trial of all the work I do and that regarding my loader work, woodwork with the logs, flat and generally I want to find out how good it is on fuel, practicality It has came with the, the camera mirrors which everybody's a wee bit up and down I will give you my honest opinion about them Now, Calum from Merck brought the lorry to me, he showed me all the way through it the gadgets, the gizmos, but I do think I need to take a bit of time and go through it because this is completely different. We've got the tablets on the screen which are very nicely displayed, but you can operate them through the touch on the steering wheel and obviously on the screens themselves. The cab, very nice and big and spacious as a Merc. Complete flat floor. You're sitting very high up. You do have great vision and as well because you don't have wing mirrors on the lorry, you do get a clear view and you lose that blind spot. That is the kind of main benefit, I would say, straight away from the camera mirrors. This unit is more spec for my type of work. She's not spec for going up into the motorway, so she's got higher ground clearance. She's tag axle, heavier duty. Um, she also did come with free line hydraulic. Uh, well, walking floor and tipping gear, but she only runs two lines. So it saves you having that third hydraulic line lying on the catwalk. Many safety features on it, it has modern things on it, I am not keen, like electric handbrakes, I am not keen on them on any lorry, but I'm willing to give this one a go and I think once you figure it out it is pretty smart when you're going on the road. Fifth wheel clip lights up green to let you know that your fifth wheel is in and obviously red if it's not. Now I am not the tallest but I'm definitely not the shortest, I'm just under six foot and I can stand up here no bother, you could Maybe get away if I gave a five aside inside. Get a team together. You can either have a top bunk or you can have walkers. This is the I can't remember what they call it storage. It's called the something net. Storage net. Now this is not the most highest spec, but it does come with the tablets. So foot on the brake. Push button start. So full entertainment center here, but Push that for your control, temperature control, right, everything you need of the unit. Right, how are we? Now that we've had the Merc for a couple of days and I've had the chance to get used to how everything works because the first couple hours day was a bit tricky because I did just jump into it and realise just stupid things. How do the heater works? How do you lift the axle? How do you get the power mode on? all that kind of stuff. Callum did show me uh, features on it, but because we were in a rush, um, I didn't get to explore it all. But I figured quite a few things out, and we've done a few jobs with it, and I'm getting used to the big girl. Now, I am throwing her in the deep end today. She is getting made to uh, move a 20-ton machine up a very narrow road, which, you know, even in my wee lorry, I'm sceptical on, but I like to test things. So, Test today will be power delivery and the gearbox. So, no shortcuts here. If she gets stuck, she'll be staying up here because can't get out of this road. Right, so far so good. Um, trailer follows the unit quite well. I'm very surprised at that, but I think that's because it's got a longer chassis. Um, camera mirrors, driver side here's fine. Um, it's not too hard to work with going down this tight road, I can see quite clearly. In the dark, I think it would be a lot different. Um, passenger side, it's got a cloudy spot uh, for whatever reason. I think the film 
like the the lens has been uh, washed of a chemical and it's taken a film off it. Ooh, one thing I that was close. Uh, I think it'll be all right actually. I didn't quite see a drop there, but I do think the other tyres will catch that. No bother, like. So we'll just keep going. There's nothing there to give us a puncture. That just shows you how tight this is. Come on, girl. I don't like the electric handbrake. I'm still getting used to it. Okay, think I don't like about the camera mirrors. I can't see the unit at all. Like right now, that is a good angle to see going around that bend because it pans it out for you. I get no vision of the unit, I don't get any vision down the side, anything. I can just see the fuel, the fuel tank and the middle axle. God, this is so tight. Right, we've got to location. Let's get her loaded. Poor girl's in a state. Now we're getting my trailer ready, get the outriggers out while Sandy starts bringing the machine down. I've got to get the ramps away, the outriggers out. Which are these to make the bed wider because we don't have hydraulic beds. <laughs> you can see how tight the road was, look at the mud, and we've lost a light. You're more welcome to drop into the comments saying, that's driver air, but I'd like to see you go up that road even in a mini. Right, that's all the outriggers out, bed widened. Now to help Sandy get the machine down, we're putting tyres down. Because in steel tracks, if we put it on the road, it'll rip up the tar, and we're not allowed to do that. Right, Merck, here's our test. We've got to go full power mode. There we go. I like how it comes up red as well. Weight transfer. Probably will cancelled. Let's go. I will say, in manual, I don't know about automatic. To be honest, I don't want to risk it in automatic. That would be the same with any truck I was driving. This is doing very well, and the load's sitting just the right. Pretty impressive. No hub reduction or double drive on this. She's just a standard tag. She's tackling this, no bother. She is capable of putting the cat too as well, but we don't need that for this right now. I to stretch this out the back. Just try to work out the level control. But anyway, under the bridge, that's the worst bit over. Right, we've got one more hairpin here. It's not the worst of the jobs just up there. But this is when I've always found trucks fail. They'll come around the hairpin at a tight bend, and once they start spinning, they will not go into override or anything to get up around the corner. So this is the test for the mayor, this type of stuff. Move quick. Right, let's just quite get ourselves off the road and open it back up because we've got quite a bit of traffic now. Right, this is where the camera mirrors, I would say, come into the road, okay? Up our way, I'll probably be honest, I don't think they're any good. There's not really much point in them. They're a bit of an inconvenience, I find, personally, I don't like them. But, I will say, however, on the motorway, quite smart, or Joe carriageway. So when I indicate here to go into the other way, right? 
is pro grad and calibrated up to show you where the back end of your trailer is and it will put a line across you and show you into the other lane to say if there's a vehicle past that point you are going to hit it, right? Because sometimes in weather like this, drizzly way, you get a grey car with noise, it can be quite hard to tell exactly where they are. And it's the same with the near side, you got a red box that highlights up if a car, that is your safety zone, right? That indicates where the vehicle is sitting and if it's okay to change lanes. So, for that, it is quite good. On that front as well, people ask, is it much more expensive to replace a camera if it got knocked off and damaged? It is the exact same price as replacing a standard mirror. Now for the size of the truck, which is big as Mount Everest and very high off the ground, it actually goes along the road, sails round corners, holds the road position very well, and it's very easy. I was very surprised at that. It doesn't swing about, it doesn't lean over in the corners, it holds the position very nicely. There is a definite improvement in the gearbox selection coming onto junctions and roundabouts where Merck did lack in the past, but I can definitely say that has been highly improved. Now, I did have this truck for over a week and a lot of people did ask me and many times, would you buy one? What's your thoughts of it overall? And I will give my honest opinion on this. I would buy one. I wouldn't want it personally for myself because I have my own preference on what I like about a truck or if I did buy one, I would spec it a bit different. But I would buy one if a driver did want it and I knew a driver would want it because after speaking to Callum from Mercedes, you could buy this truck for £130,000 and you can get five years warranty with that. Now that is a big thing to consider when buying a truck. Five years warranty, that's five years of peace of mind of any major breakdowns, faults, problems, when it'll be off the road and you have to spend thousands, when some manufacturers are only offering you a year to two years warranty, to get five years warranty and at that price of £130,000, that is a lot for your money. So if I did have a driver that would happily go on that lorry and you'd be on it for five years, I would gladly buy one at that. Fuel economy return, five years warranty, a lot of truck for your money, and it did stand up to everything we put it through. We asked it to move big machines, the logging, everything, and it was totally fine in handling the job. There was a couple moments, but once you learn how to use the truck correctly, it is a very impressive truck, and there's plenty of people who have these lorries on the road and love them. I did like it in quite a lot of ways. There was, like I said, definitely some features I would change about it if I was a spec one myself, but like I said, fuel economy, comfort, and performance, and more importantly, the price were all very good. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much to Mercedes for giving us the truck. And hopefully we get some more trucks to do reviews on very soon. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and always remember to drop a comment. Flat out, flat broke. Oosht!